I'm being real tight with my brakes today. Like yeah. that was almost like, that five was minutes, almost five exactly, minutes on exactly on the dot. On the dot. All right. Um, All right. Um, so if no one so saw, no anything, one saw different, anything different, uh, anything uh, that, anything like that really, stands, like really out, stands out, I'm going to call that one call finished. That one finished. I'm gonna cross it off, cross my, it list. off my list. Because <laughs> I'm not, I'm so not, not trying, I'm not trying to be perfectionist, to be perfectionist with, it. with it. I think, I, think uh, I, could spend, uh, I could spend like like weeks, weeks working through every single word of that 100 words, that 100 words figuring it out, figuring out. You know, you know, to try and tell try and tell a story as succinctly as possible. Uh, did you actually post it in the chat? Yeah, in the did. chat. Yeah, I did. Did it didn't? Go did it didn't go through? I see it in my. I chat. see it in my chat. Oh, that's weird. It's possible it's that possible it, it was that too it, long, it so, long it so it didn't pop up, on, pop the up on the screen. But it would. But it would. I don't know. I don't know. Do you want me to read? Do you it want me to you? read it to you? Uh, I could uh, be. Echoing. I could be. Echoing. Oh, I'm echoing. Oh, I'm echoing. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. I forgot that I changed my camera setup a bit, and I'm gonna change it back because I don't think it's necessary. But uh, yeah, I changed I changed it so that my my Brio like used my mic as its audio source instead of the other way around, and uh, it got now I now when I on my break screen, I unmute my mic so I can talk, and then it gets all weird. <laughs> A person covered in tattoos slash taxidermist. Stranger's Diary, cemetery at 5 in the morning. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Sam? Um, I'm thinking the same thing I think every night, Pinky. Uh, peanut butter and pizza? Peanut butter and jelly time? <laughs> what has peanut butter and pizza got to do with this? I don't know. I just figured that's what you were thinking about, because you think about pizza a lot. I think about pizza a lot. I mean, it's not praise Berg, but still. Don't even remind me of the bird. Uh, they'll be opening up soon too, eh? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh man, it's almost time to praise the bird. Yep. <laughs> I mean, both, anyway, so both actual birds and the void stream is next after this, so even more bird. Sweet. Uh, so we got. 35 minutes i'm gonna see if i can bang out the second one like in that 35 minutes if i don't get distracted um but first things first i'm gonna distract myself so uh one i was definitely thinking herbert west and you should be too <laughs> yeah i'm chevy and, chase and you're not what, what? chevy chase that sounded like what you were saying I said Herbert West. I know, but just the cadence of it sounded like his oh. line. <laughs> okay. Um, what was the other thing? Uh, oh, right. Uh, were there any questions that you wanted to ask me while, while I'm doing this? Well, if you were going to get any one tattoo, what would it be? And why is it a taxidermist? <laughs> uh, I actually, um, the one tattoo I do want to get, um, and I've kind of had this conversation with, part of this conversation with Sam before. Uh, I'm not a fan of tattoos for myself personally, because I have a problem with permanence in that way. I would like to change the art a lot. Um, and you can't do that if you get a tattoo. Uh, but I have no problem with people having tattoos. Like, that's not what I'm saying. I love tattoos. Um, so you both I, have a problem with them and love them. Yeah, okay. that's exactly what I said. Okay, uh, I want to get an arrow on my finger, so I can always point forward, <laughs> move forward. Just I know it sounds silly, but it's just like a like a thing that would remind me. 
Uh, yeah, that's that's interesting. It'd be it would be non-obvious. Yeah. Not one of those like giant neck tattoos or something. Yeah, no. Uh, but I think something like that that's nice and simple, if it was done right, would would just be would be fine. Plus, I have a tendency to draw arrows on my fingers, so you know. <laughs> You'll be forever trying to wash it off and not understanding why it won't go away. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why was the calico the first um, cat I thought of? The answer to that is also hilarious. Uh, it's because I'm obsessed with the musical cats. <laughs> I've not seen or heard cats. I take it calico is like a thing. Uh, yeah, so Cats is the android light Weber musical, right? Um, no, I know what it is. I've just never heard of it. Yeah. Or seen it. It's based on a Terry Pratchett book, isn't it? Is it really? Yeah, I think so. Maybe it's not Terry Pratchett. No, it's somebody else. It's somebody else that's uh, a big name. T.S. Eliot. Yeah, T.S. Eliot. There you go. Equally cool as Terry Pratchett. Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats. Yeah, exactly. Um, so Cal there's a song about a calico in that in that musical. Well that makes sense then. Yeah. Oh, I said I was going to do the username thing. I should do that. Uh, reminder, do that. <laughs> that was not the answer I expected at all. I know, it never is. The musical Cats is like the Spanish in in Inquisition. You just never expect it. Yeah, that unfortunately, Brendan, was in fact not the correct answer. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. My answers rarely are the correct answers. The correct answer is because Calico is the most generic kind of cat. I thought Tabby was the most generic kind of cat. Wrong again. Amazing. <laughs> Do we know this for a fact, though, that Calico is the most generic type of cat? I mean, I just said it, so it can't be that untrue. Oh, interesting. In Quebec, uh, a calico is called a chat de span, meaning cat of Spain. Man, can't trust those Spanish cats. An expression I hear all the time on my, in my to life we, on the to, streets. <laughs> to Wikipedia. Yes, exactly. Exactly, Proud. You've, you've got me down. It's fine. There's a reason it's the, uh, like... Well, I was going to say the first link on my, my link bar, but it's actually the second after my, <laughs> my email. Uh, I'm going to make, after the stream, I'm going to put it on my stream list. I'm going to, because I was suggesting it to someone else earlier, I'm going to make a uh, a Brendan face Batman swirler. Like, you know that transition in the 60s Batman with the logo? Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I'm going to make one of those. And, uh, exactly. And it's going to say to Wikipedia on it. <laughs> Excellent. That'd be great. Yeah. I'm excited. Maybe I'll learn to use After Effects. No, actually, it'd be way easier to do it in Flash, probably. In Adobe Animate. Oh, that would be, like, trivial. Yeah. Oh, this is not a plug, but the Samsung rep came through at work and was talking to me about the new Samsung S3 tablet, and with the stylus, you can totally make GIFs, like, on the fly. Oh, cool. Yeah. 
That's um, neat. If I get that, I'm going to ruin everyone's lives around me by continuously spamming them with gifts. You'd really like that tablet, though, probably. I Yeah, I'm seriously considering buying it when we get it if it goes on sale. I'm not paying full price. <laughs> no, it'll be expensive. It's going to be like 600 bucks. I'm not paying that. No way. Yeah. It'd be cool, though. The S1 is great. Like, it's so good. Well, my tablet's basically hosed at this point. Yeah. Do you know how big it, the screen will be? It's a 10, I think. 10 inch. 10 inch. So like a 9.7? I, I think it's a... Or, it's or actually 3. 10. I think 10.3. 10. 10.3 10. 3. 10. would be awesome. Because mine's a 10.5. It might be that. But it's a little bit more than a 10. Okay. That's good. Because I didn't like that they went down to a 9.6 with the S2. Yeah, it's kind of noticeable. So enough, yeah. It's a difference in screen real estate of a couple square yeah. centimeters that's actually significant on a screen that size. Yeah. Brought to you by Samsung. Yeah, that's uh, why I said this is not a plug, but... Yeah. We're, no, we're uh, plug, it's neither of those things. Yeah, we're, we're, just, we're big Android guys, so... We sell electronics. And yeah, tablets are important. I walk around in smash vehicles with my claws. I am. You didn't know that? Yeah. I knew. Okay. Oh, you yeah. haven't watched you haven't watched uh um Turbo Kid yet. Oh no, I haven't. Oh. Yeah, there's a like Martin was saying yesterday, there's this great moment where it's just like, you didn't know he was a robot? Obviously he's a robot. <laughs> About one of the characters. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to watch that while I'm uploading my video. Yeah, this is a real plug. If you haven't seen the movie called Turbo Kid made in 2015, link the IMDb. Oh yeah, and you like um, kind of I don't know what it's a B movie, but it's kind of like too good to be a B movie because it's intentionally made to look like a B movie. So all all the B moviness of it is entirely intentional. It is, uh, what I kept saying to myself um, when I was watching it is like, this is the Charles Barkley shut up and jam Gaiden of movies. Like, it, <laughs> it takes itself 100% seriously uh, inside the movie, but externally, it's the most ludicrous bullshit that you've ever seen in your entire life. And it does it so perfectly. Nice. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I gotta watch this movie. Um, oh man, and yeah, he was right. There's another one, No Tomorrow, a Turbo Kid tale from last year, <laughs> September of last year. So it's really recent. Yeah, it's pretty recent. I'm gonna sue them, however, for stealing my X tale uh, kind of thing because Two Scores Tales have a monopoly on that, unfortunately. Did you copyright it? I should. I, I'll say I did. Yeah, I copyrighted the hell out of that. You hear me, small filmmakers? How dare you use creative, normal language? Oh man, it's all about Apple. The female lead. Michael Ironside is ridiculous. I, just, I cannot believe that he's in this. Man, that guy will do anything. He's like apparently. <laughs> and I actually, th I think I actually think Michael Ironside specifically picks like B movies on purpose. <laughs> well, and the thing about this role is it's kind of an homage to the roles that he's done in the past. Like the way the whole thing is an homage to these these. 80s and early 90s kind of schlock movies uh like it's got a very evil dead kind of feel to it um but like his character is very much an homage to him so it kind of double meta metas itself by having him in that role yeah totally totally um though you think that's an act because i'm pretty sure michael ironside never never acts <laughs> he just plays himself <laughs> wow a hot take <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna clip that out of context and send that voice uh segment to michael ironside 
Okay. Bad news, he's gonna come to your house and he'll turn out he is a real robot and he's gonna shoot his mouth laser at you. Uh, Spoilers. I would approve of, I would approve of that. <laughs> who, who would dare besmirch Michael Ironside? I didn't besmirch him. You totally, you just said he doesn't act. No, he doesn't. He, he's a he's just actor. himself. Oh my God. I'm not saying he doesn't do what he does well. I'm just saying, He's a genius. Know. And a exactly. Genius. It's fine. <laughs> For the record, Michael Ironside, I approve of all your fine acting. I will distance myself from this terrible, terrible human being. Because obviously, it's like, Mike... Ste it's like Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal doesn't act. Oh well, I think we all know that. Look, are you trying to compare Michael Ironside to Steven Seagal? <laughs> no. Oh my God. Let's, I mean, let's, I... let's not even go down this rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Ugh. I feel kind of sick now that you mentioned Steven Seagal. Chat has no opinion on this. It's probably a good thing. Yeah. All right, Proud. Thanks for showing up, man. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm glad you really enjoyed Tomb Raider. Um, thanks for your help with stuff. I don't know. I really appreciate you showing up. Thanks for the host, dude. Um, have a good night. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, thanks for being here. Uh, I have one final question for you, though. What happened to Just Proud 1A? What are you doing with him? <laughs> Where are you keeping him? <laughs> or her. I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough, Brad. Fair enough. Good. Good to know. I was concerned for a little bit. Unrelated, I've written a whopping 65 words during this stream, which I'm not proud of. Yeah, you can't have written less than me. <laughs> well, I've been talking smack the whole time. How am I supposed to write and talk smack at the same time? I mean, I write and talk smack at the same time. Ah, uh, get distracted. I wrote two sentences while I was dissing Michael Ironside. <laughs> I'm upset about that. I like Michael Ironside a lot. <laughs> Yep, <laughs> that, that's exactly what happens. Yeah, MC Pepper Pockets is like too modern a name. It would never have flown back in the early 2000s. It's too many characters. That's true. We do have a friend who does own the email ratbastard at hotmail.com oh man i'm so jealous every time i think about that god that was awesome yeah it's real good never have i had a better response to accusing someone of being a rat bastard you know that's actually my email what <laughs> Yeah.
you know, you could change two words to one if you said vaguely instead of sort of. Yeah, that's true. Boom, I'm helping. Boom, I'm helping. <laughs> I'm helping! <laughs> oh, that's a great email as well. Yep. That is a great email. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my first email was uh, superro at rogers.com. Oh, I was like a huge, well, I still am a huge metalhead, but I was way more of one when I was in like middle school. Yeah, maybe I could it was see that. before that, and I my I had an email that was uh, chainheartmachine at gmail dot com after the Soil Work album. Wait, what was it? It was chainheartmachine. It was I think the second Soil Work album. The first one was Steel Bath Suicide, the most metal album name ever. <laughs> Steel Bath Suicide. I have no Damn. idea what the fuck that's supposed to mean now, but it sounded cool at the time. Fair enough. Griffin Pizza Soil Work, your music is terrible now. Wow, you, you got some... You're pretty creative with those names there, Proud. <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed. I'd never have guessed that was your email. That's a good one. My second email was uh, was named after uh, my self insert fanfic character from the first story I ever wrote. Well, oh, self insert is this like something you can read on stream? No, because I don't have it anymore. Oh. I've looked for it for ages. I can't find it. I swore I had a file of it somewhere on a disc, and I can't find the disc. I was playing more for the lewd angle, but if you want to, uh, if you want to read it that way, that's fine. Um, oh, I fucked up his brand. But but I made I made that email so that I could uh, so I could use it for my my uh, my account on the fanfic site. I I posted it on. So like that was like the first thing I ever really posted anywhere that story still exists actually um i know i don't have the original or anything like that but i've changed it into a really really awesome mech comic that's not a fanfic anymore <laughs> like a like a gundam mech is what you're saying yeah oh. well it was a gundam fanfic oh right <laughs> well, that makes sense then yeah but I did it in kind of like a Gareth Edwards monsters way where like you don't actually really get to see the mechs. They're just kind of there. That's what that's the whole, the whole point of a dang mech thing is to see them. Exactly. Did I just blow your mind or are you just angry? <laughs> I'm, I'm mad. I want those mechs. Do you even like mechs? I love mechs. Okay. That's why I want to see them. You keeping your mechs hidden. <laughs> I don't I guess that wasn't really a mech con or a mech anime but I yeah exactly not showing them what are you what is wrong I'm here for the mechs and that's about it characters are usually paper thin the plot is usually ludicrous but those mechs are so cool uh I think that depends on the show but you're you could be right for example, uh, Escaflone, not paper thin. And Gundam isn't either, to be honest. Escaflone? Sounds like you Yeah, Escaflone. Gesundheit. <laughs> I always think it's talking about someone's flowing nose. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Esca's flowing nose. Hey. Uh uh, well, like, nay, like, as in, like, uh, 
like the French word like for nose. nose. Yeah, no, yeah. I got it. Okay, so like, yeah, like uh, if you did it, like escaflone is your nose flowing running. <laughs> we just created an alien language. <laughs> Slow clap. <laughs> I wish that you could see my face right now. Uh, okay. It's so mad. It's the maddest it's, thing. It's so mad. <laughs> because that joke was terrible? I'm trying to find an emote <laughs> that depicts how furious I am, but I don't think one exists. I have one that, I have one that this, probably... Pretty close to this. Uh, no, I have, I have one. I gotta... Here. I have the best emote for this situation. Oh, there is also this. That's basically my face right now. Oh, I thought that was the hype one. Uh, no, it's the opposite of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me a sec here. Oh wait! Uh, Here we go. No, no, I got, I got, this I got this. Face. Let. Me... <laughs> yeah, no, this one it fully depicts my rage. Pretty close to that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> if I could shoot lasers out of my eyes and also be a furious orc, that is would be exactly my face at this moment. <laughs> We may have encouraged well, that. <laughs> Can I undelete that? Uh, no. I don't oh, know how to do that. Well, I'm sorry. Click, I clicked it and it reappeared. Yeah. Do you have um? Are you using BTTV? What the hell is that? Oh, you don't know what BTTV is? Okay. No. Uh, BTTV is a uh, browser extension for watching Twitch. It has its own emotes and everything. Um, so yeah, uh, for example. No, but I mean like, if I'm clicking these, does that undelete them or? No, it just, just means me? you. It that's just for you. Uh. Well, that's what you get for playing along, chat. And proud and proud totally hangs out in the same channels as me because he's a mod on Derek's stream and he has he's sub to Molt like I am. <laughs> so, yeah, we hang out in the same places. Oh, and he's sub to Stevie, Stevie like I am too. <laughs> yep. What time is it? 10 minutes. Oh man. Yeah, you better write this whole thing in 10 minutes. Go! I only got 40 words left. It's just because I have it configured um, <laughs> really strangely. Because all the defaults are like really, really secure. Like the spam bot, like I turned off caps and stuff like that because I think you should be able to rage all you want. Um, it's probably better that it starts that way, but 
it does have a tendency to just fuck people up for no reason. Uh, I'm going to put the emote limit at 10. Yes. Yes. There we go. It's better. Yeah, no, I agree. It's just one of those things that there's a lot of parts of it that you don't realize you are even working until someone does something. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah, you're trying to play along with the joke? Wrong band. It's not the first time. <laughs> nope. I've definitely accidentally done it to myself. How did you, how did you do it to yourself? I don't remember what it was that I posted, but it was some word that you had that was an automatic five minute ban or something. Oh no, I actually did that. I uh, I had to do that manually. <laughs> oh, did you? Okay, well, because it sure happened mighty fast when I posted it. I swear it was Nightbot that did it because it commented. Yeah, but when I ban you, Nightbot says stuff. I oh, think. Well, it was. Uh... Maybe not. I don't remember. I think it was one of the uh, like uh, we were talking about Twilight or something, and I was like, no, <laughs> this ends now. No, um. Man. Yeah, no, that's fair, this Prod. I, I don't know. I honestly have never thought about it past this moment. Like, this is this is the first time I ever thought about it's it. It's not a big deal most of the time. You have a pretty, like, chill chat. Yeah. Well, I mean, I could put on emotes. I have no problem with that. Um, as long as it doesn't turn into an issue. I just... <laughs> I hadn't even considered that it was a thing. I don't get rated ever, though, so, you know... What about all those people who only can communicate in emotes because they've had some part of their brain damage? So, like, instead of not Do I being, know those people? Like, what if you, instead of being able to use adjectives, you have to use emotes? <laughs> I would actually really like to write a story like that. There was... Well, okay. So, there's... I have, like, two examples of that. One was... Uh, was uh, in Blind Sight, one of the characters has has like a chunk of their brain manipulated so they can use all this equipment kind of subconsciously, and so they're incapable of using um, sex pronouns. Everyone is it. Okay. Which is hilarious and weird. Uh, and and then the other one was in um, that game, uh, Night in the Woods. They. <laughs> You have a your main character has a conversation with her mother about like not doing drugs and she's like yeah well you remember sally well she got like a brain hemorrhage because she did drugs and now she can't use adjectives and you're like wow that's super terrible and she's like yeah that's exactly the kind of sentence that she can't use anymore <laughs> <laughs> that's such a horrible thing yeah, no, oh my god it's amazing the oh that's so is, the writing is so, so clever. solid in that game <laughs> so clever <laughs> everything about it is good i would really like to do uh i think that'd be a great uh like self-published short story thing because no magazine would ever publish it but like yeah no verbs only emotes <laughs> no yeah you could never put that in anything real no <sighs> but that doesn't mean you shouldn't do it <laughs> no that'd be really cool yeah but you'd have like the layout of it would be insane, because yeah. you'd have to do like all the emotes as individual pictures and stuff. Yeah, it'd be like a hot mess. Yep. Well, you'd Whoa, you'd do you go. you'd <laughs> you'd do it in uh, uh, you'd do it in InDesign probably, and it wouldn't be that hard. Like it wouldn't be hard. It just it'd be a thing you'd have to do. Yeah, it would maybe not look quite like that. <laughs> But that would be the effect we're going for. Yeah. I told the I told the story of dinner in emotes once. Really? Yeah, entirely in emotes. Like like no actual text, just all emotes? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> and that went well and was intelligible? Oh yeah, totally. To the point where I was telling I said it to someone else and they're like, Oh yeah, that's your short story. And I was like, Yes! Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Here, you should post it in chat. 
Uh, I don't think it'll show up. Nightbot totally won't blast you. He won't. I fixed it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, I gotta remember what it looked like. <laughs> um, I could probably find it. Discord keeps everything. He won't anyway because he's a mod. Yeah, that's fine. I'll send it to you after, Sam. It's great. Um, but yeah, so it's just about 3 o'clock. Yeah, and I to be, or, I mean, proud, you need to go to sleep. You yeah, said needs... you would sleep, but you didn't. Well, let's just say, Sam, that uh, I watched him for five hours after I got home from work last night. I went to sleep, and he was still streaming when I got up. That's a little much. <laughs> I mean, it was cool because he came back and he was playing Tomb Raider. Yeah, Tomb Raider's pretty good. <laughs> the new one? Yeah. Yeah, the new one. Yeah. Jesus, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, you, you need to go to sleep. <laughs> well, I appreciate you making that effort for me, Brett. For me, Proud. I really do. It makes me feel supported, and that's always a good thing. Yeah, and I mean, it means when... Uh... We set up a Patreon that we'll have someone we know is definitely going to contribute, right? <laughs> hey, man. No pressure. No, no pressure. pressure. I didn't say that. No pressure. Just give, give me your money. <laughs> oh, man. How do you spell tattooed? Uh, tattoo ed. Right, I forgot there was two O's in tattoo. Tattooed. Okay, we got twenty words left. I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna close out the stream. Um, do you want to plug rewrite for me so I don't have to do it? <laughs> yeah. So next Monday which is April the 3rd at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or whatever time we're in now because we just changed time things. Um, so at 8 p.m. Eastern Time anyway, uh, we will be uh, broadcasting our third episode of our Read Write Book Club. Uh, and you can find that obviously here at Accidental Origin uh, when we're broadcasting live and for... Don't, don't you say monday the third is the third which is monday i said it that way on purpose um so yeah you can find us here uh, at that time at 8 p.m um and you can also find the video on demand on our youtube channel which is uh well it's read slash write book club uh we don't have a custom url on youtube so you can just search that and you'll find it uh we already have two episodes up so you can go and watch those uh you can also listen to the audio version at readwrite.podbean.com um, oh, oh! don't be fooled by the second episode. I forgot to change the title, so it still says episode one. <laughs> it, in the stream, it says that. But if you, yeah. if you look at the proper title of the video, it will say episode two. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, of course, you can find notifications for that stream at uh, on my blog, which is uh, burialatsea.com. That's the letter C, not the ocean. Um 
and at MC Pepper Pockets on Twitter, uh, where I'll be putting all the links to all the things as well. Are there anything that I forgot? Oh, and and Brendan's Twitter, of course, is at Freak Lab Mishap. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! I'm at ninety-seven words, and I didn't have my ending yet. Okay. Well, heck. Better end it in three words. Baby shoes never worn. That's, That's a good four. story. That's four. The end is two. It's too many words. It's too many words. The end is two is still four words. There you go. <laughs> and then he died. No one likes an open story. Travels are really good at being open, though. Herbert booked it. Okay, I got it. I got what I need to do, and then I need to trim it up. Rest in plastics. Also known as summer lounging. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. Not as good as this one. Boom. <laughs> Retirement in Pittsburgh. Yeah. You mean Pitts Field, right? Sure. Streaming the touring test. The game looks so good. Okay, I gotta cut 13 words. Why would you? What? That's terrible. Why is that terrible? Just because. Yeah, don't quit your day job. 13 extra words. Unbelievable. I'm not quitting my day job. I mean, you're trying to. I mean, I'm reducing my hours so I don't have to work as much. <laughs> don't, redu don't significantly reduce the hours of your day job. The thing you hear frequently said. But but I'm not I'm not quitting my day job. 
Man, I want to quit my day job. Uh, one day. When we're a cool and popular podcast. Yeah, or I'm a published author. I'm yeah, whichever happens first. Millions and residuals and all that. It'd be great. Yeah. Speaking of which, I should check check the status of my story, my submission. I checked mine already this morning. There was no status changed. Oh, it's Sunday. It's not going to be changed from yesterday. No, it won't be at least nope. until tomorrow. Nope, nope, nope. Buy it. Don't tell me what job I should, should or should not quit. I mean, you can, but I won't follow your advice. Unless it's to quit my day job, in which case I will do that. Oh, man. Sorry, right. I'm, I'm simultaneously watching your stream and the Void stream, and uh, there's definitely a sweet, like, future Space Canada flag. Oh, cool! Wait, Voidberg's Canadian? No. Oh, no, she's so playing, it's even she's playing the it's even cooler. Chest. It's in the game. Oh, even cooler. No, she's definitely from New York. You can tell. When are you getting your uh, Victorian pizza pocket? I gotta send the the email request, and then it'll probably be well, it'll be. Sometime next week or the week after. It depends on what her um, what her backlog is. But I know last week she said she was pretty much caught up. So, mm. oh, I'm one word off. All right, perfect. Now I'm one word too short. Mm. Just put the word boner in randomly somewhere. No one will notice. Okay, now I'm one word too many. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh yeah, uh, Proud, can you send that to me? Um, Cause I want, I want to give it to Sam. So close.
right, so just fixing the paragraphs and then we're done. Cool. Thanks, bro. I appreciate that. Well, yes. Is there a pizza pocket? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I got it. It's a Victorian pizza pocket. <laughs> what the hell is that? <clears throat> It's a set of Victorian houses. Oh god! Isn't that, isn't that what you wanted? <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh my god! We really appreciate it, proud. It's I'm, amazing I'm... and horrible, and I love it. <laughs> Are there like arms coming out of the end? I think that's like the uh, the cheese melting out. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, no, I can see it. It, it just looked. <laughs> it looked like. Some, I don't know what it looked like. You can check out more awesome art at twitch.tv slash just proud to be. <laughs> I thought it would be more like top hat and monocle, but this is great too. Yeah. Well, I kind of looked away and I didn't want to go too, too in depth with the, uh, with the like yeah, don't rules describe of it. it. Just like just <laughs> feed him something yeah i was just like victorian pizza locket and i walked away <laughs> uh yeah all right i, cool. I think I... the problem here is that is actually a pizza pop you can tell by the shape oh my gosh i'm a pizza pocket connoisseur they're more <laughs> semicircular. <laughs> all right i see how it is man it's, okay. it's totally mccain's versus whatever brand pizza pops are <laughs> nice cool uh so i'm gonna let you go sam i will talk to you later okay uh and then i'm gonna close out the stream so right. uh bye i will catch you later i'll see you in hell bye <laughs> thanks bro <laughs> all right cool uh so we did two, caught up on two of the flash fiction prompts today, which is good. You know, we did some stuff. We had some conversations. We talked about cool libraries, which I'm always down to talk about. And uh, yeah, today's stream went really fast, like really fast. Um, but I had a great time and I was glad Sam could join me. Um, super big thanks to him. He's my co-host on the Read Write podcast. Um, we also have interesting chats about writing and ridiculous movies and books and stuff um hence why we have a podcast <laughs> and all that so yeah um cool so like sam was saying uh so i'll be back next sunday at 12 p.m eastern uh next monday yeah i'm his co-host because he's kind of running it <laughs> uh next monday is uh the uh read Ride podcast at 8 p.m eastern uh, it's more of a night thing for us, uh, so that our 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 third guest host can uh, can join us. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Thanks for the hosts, uh, all the auto hosts and regular hosts. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah. So without further ado, my name is Brendan. This is Accident Origin, your weekly writing web show. Thanks for chilling with me, guys. Really appreciate it. I will catch you all later. Have a good one. Oh, and I will be hosting someone. So if you want to stick around and see that, that's cool. If you want to peace out, that's also cool. Do what you got to do. Proud, you need to go to sleep. <laughs>